Buzz cracking. Your boy Frontline. I just want to say today was a good day. You feel me? Yes, indeed. So, uh, I reached out, handled a few things Friday, Saturday slid by, did what I was going to do on Sunday, and I happened to touch down on this motivational uh, speech on YouTube, it was on top, I just clicked it, and it just fit in, and it was speaking about my whole plan for the day. So that just struck me right there. I'm like, oh, that's dope. Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm already finna do that shit. So I'm doing it. I don't listen to the damn shit like twice. You know, I'm listening to it again right now. But anyway, the thing is this. I don't gave up, and I haven't gave up. I won't give up. So with all this shit going on in the world today, and right now at this very motherfucking moment, that people don't want to talk about, they need to talk about, and talking ain't going to fix shit. That you're going to sit the fuck down and, like, talk about it and put it in motion at the same time. Just make that shit work. Like, be dead-ass fucking serious about it. No other options, period. You feel me? None at all. All right, anyway, things is looking good. And it said a lot of things about just reaching out, getting a lot of no's until you get a yes. You know, and I always been striving, striving for the best. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I gotta, I gotta get it. Anyway, wishing me luck. I don't need it, but I'm just saying it. You know, cause I don't go by luck and dreams and all that. But at the end of the day, I don't like nothing. Nobody feel about how they do what they do. Success is success is really what it is. And being productive and taking care of your priorities and shit, and also getting people out of your life that is got more reasons that they're bringing you down. Even though you love them to fucking, like, I fucking love you, I care. But that don't even mean shit. It's unconditional. Because you can't be going two separate motherfucking ways. Like, you trying to open up a business and put money in and this and that. And then somebody else, they worrying about how they living. And what they got or looking good or just not even being financial with their money. That's only fucking you up. You're going to lose half of everything you trying to keep going this way forward, but you're trying to build something over here, or you're trying to build something together, period. So, just to keep it real, it's always one of the two people that is breaking the other way that someone has to break off and put a stop to what the fuck's going on if you want to have something in your motherfucking life and really have that shit. And that's what I'm doing right now. Straight up. And I'm practicing at the same time to just forget about what the fuck happened yesterday. Because today and right now, I handle that shit. So, check it out. This shit's gonna go down. And I'm just working hard. I'm gonna start motivating myself a lot better. Start putting a lot of more things together. Taking my time with shit. Keeping shit 100. And that's just what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna holler at y'all and keep in touch. Y'all fuck with me because I just want to just deliver some positive shit as much as I can. Now, you know, I'll leave everything else to, uh, you know, some of the other YouTubers. I get to name people some other damn time. Because right, right now, I don't lost my email and my connection on my other uh, front line, 612, City Apples 612. I lost how to get into that shit to even just, and I got 100 to maybe like thousands for subscribers and shit and I fuck it so I'm starting over this one is working I'll figure it out cause once you just get to a certain level and you need help is when I'll need somebody to come in and look over certain things or internet and connect with me and network so I would want to deal with families like a male or female that's married you know a couple they got kids and they got bills and then they want to build together and be financially stable i'd rather depend on that family so i'd rather like not just hire an individual when i get to where I, the goals are right now i want to be able to talk to a man and a woman the husband and the wife and see the kids and you know so i know you know where that money's going and then they want to also 
branch off and do their own business. That's what I'm looking for when I get to what I'm doing, trying to do right now. It ain't about individuals. We can't even keep making it out here and keep trying to run around here as as black folks by ourselves, man. You got to, you know what? I want to just get back on how I used to be. Look, you need to have a family, settle your ass down, take care of your kids, and then we can talk business. That's what I'm on. Fuck that. Ain't trying to just be the single rich black man and just have all the hoes. Fuck all that. Shit. Can't find them rabbits. Can he? The rabbit hole so deep, can't find, goddamn, you turn around, can't even find the fucking rabbit hole. You turn around, go in the house, look out the window, and then it's a couple hours later, then got late, and you see rabbits and shit, like, what the fuck, them goddamn rabbits keep fucking, you can't even find goddamn rabbit hole. Like, I've been, look, I've been looking some time for rabbit holes, nigga, I'm trying to find me some rabbit holes, nigga, I can't even find them motherfuckers. Nigga, how the fuck, you can't, you can't even find a rabbit hole. Them guys, them motherfuckers is cold. Nigga, I don't know if they sleeping on the side of the tree, up the tree, down the hole, around the hole, in the hole. Nigga, you can't even find goddamn rabbit hole, man. You can't even find where the fucking rabbits be at. Nigga, them motherfuckers is cold. Nigga. I'll tell you right in your face. Bet you. Bet you. I'm, I'm telling you. Motherfuckers. Rabbit holes. All right, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm, all right, bet, man. Um, peace. Front line, holla at you, motherfuckers. Holla at you, boy. Shit.